Alan, I believe you're up. Okay. Good morning, council members. Um, here uh, on behalf of Indiana Materials Processing, uh, company owner will not be here this morning. He uh, is delayed in, in Chicago, uh, but will be here later this morning. And we'd like to schedule an open house of some kind in the near future. Uh, but the, uh, the project involves a company that, that plans to locate the Rail Connect Business Park, the park that the redevelopment commission has uh, developed uh, at Canada Road 600 East. The uh, project involves the uh, creation of a new facility uh, to, uh, to work with feedstocks uh, used in steel mills and foundries, um, taking raw materials and, and preparing them, essentially densifying them, improve the, the quality and the character of those inputs that are used in the melt process. And so it's a sort of a first of its kind. Uh, we're very pleased that they're, they're interested in being in Whitley County. Uh, we anticipate the project will create about 20 jobs and over the course of four or five years involve someone in the neighborhood of five to seven million dollars investment. Uh, here this morning with an abatement request for the first phase of that project uh, to get that kicked off here this fall. And so we'd like to introduce Lauren Kravick, the new Executive Director of Region 3A, to give morning. specifics of the abatement request. And I guess uh, if we could take a minute just to ask it, Lauren and shoot some talk as well. So, uh, and we are. Again, uh, good morning, everyone. Lauren Kravick, Executive Director of Region 3A. Uh, been a resident of Northeast Indiana for the last 22 years and grew up in the nearby state of Ohio. So, this part of the country is very familiar to me, very comfortable. And, uh, Worked for a period of 12 years for the Fort Wayne Redevelopment Commission, and following that, uh, two years for uh, Northeast Indiana Regional Coordinating Council, NERC, also in Ellen County in Fort Wayne. And time spent since then has uh, been devoted to uh, law school and fighting our country's wars, and uh, glad to be back in Northeast Indiana. Uh, for the business at hand, <coughs> Uh, Region 3A helps out local uh, economic development agencies processing these tax abatement requests. This is no different. Uh, presented this resolution to the Redevelopment Commission this morning for 10 years for real property, 10 years for personal property or equipment. Uh, resolution passed unanimously. Uh, bring it to you this morning for your consideration. And any questions you may have. Back years ago, and Jim, I tried to get one of the other one here to remember that week. The council said that we would all tax abatement requests had to come from Region 3. We had some uh, outside sources doing them, and it got kind of confusing. And uh, that's so that's why they put it through. Mm -hmm. The uh, Redevelopment Commission just got done meeting on this resolution and approved it. Uh, so I think. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll uh, second it. Any additional discussion? Can you tell me a little bit about this, Alan? Like, um, I see that they're located in Naperville, Illinois. Uh, and that they don't have any employees right now. Right. So that's reflective of, of the current. Currently in Indiana, they have no employees. Um, in Naperville, there's a sister company that actually sources raw materials. So the new operation will take those raw materials, already press, you know, uh, recycled, if you will, and then briquette them into a, a uh, uh, and, and change chemistry of materials for input at the steel mills and the SDI uh, and some area foundries, in, even into Ohio. So uh, it's uh, the owner, Abed Bengali, is uh, his background is in chemical engineering, so he. Uh, expertise is in sourcing materials and then taking and then looking at the chemistry materials to help uh, you know, something like an SDI improve the, the quality of their, their inputs at uh, the steel making process. So they estimate that they'll have the manufacturing equipment in place by June 15, 2013. Right. And this is basically an abatement on the manufacturing equipment. The real property as well, the, the building. What they do is uh, they're making the steel, the steel belt of tires, the steel belts. They're going to compact them into a block, and then they go to a process or to a steel mill or a foundry. Or, and if I understand right, uh, they have a 
seven year contract was Steel Dynamics to dig everything they produce. So, so what you're saying is the, the steel belts, once they get used, they come in and. That they, the, they just the steel. Right. Yeah. And then I, they process it some way, I don't know, ends up in a lump. And that's what they take over. And I asked uh, somebody at uh, Steel Dynamics about it, and uh, they've been using this product for a long time. But it comes in unpacked, it's loose, and it's a, so it's a real pain in the neck of them. So this is an improvement in their process. I can make one, one point. I do want to make sure to distinguish. Um, this facility will not actually remove the steel uh, cores from the tires. I mean, this no. is going to be a recycling facility that will help them elsewhere. It will be sourcing that material and then bringing it and then actually processing it here. So. There will be no burning off or right. anything like that. This company, that the, the parent company, are they pretty long standing? The, the company itself is about uh, five to ten years old, uh, but the experience of the owner in this industry is 30 to 40 years. Uh, working with a group called Timken Steel in Ohio, um, and working with even uh, uh, waste management out of Illinois, a few other large entities that you know, we've done some due diligence and, and made sure that you know, this is uh, someone who not only SCI respects and works with, but has worked elsewhere as well. And this is a safe investment for Woodley County. How big an entry do you anticipate now, Director? The, the purchase is a uh, seven acre parcel, so room for expansion. Any additional discussion? A motion and a second. All those in favor of the motion signify by your right hand. Those opposed, the second. What was the number on that? Um, 2012 11. 